Um, you know, going back to what happened with Nambiha, when it was discovered in 1981, it was in more or less, uh, well, it was second growth forest, but it looked like pr pristine forest with massive, massive trees. Um, and um, it was a, a couple of, of mine openings in the side of the mountain that they investigated. Uh, but uh, uh, the only trace of mining activity at the surface were these um, things that rather egg-like, like they're about yay high, they're shaped like an egg, and they're made out of granite. And um, they're a primitive way for the, uh, the indigenous people to crush ore. Uh, what they would, they would have a hole through them and they would attach a wooden board, and I've seen these in, in use in Peru, and they just rock back and forth on these all day, because it's round on the bottom, and they have a, a, a little boy or a little girl throwing pieces of rock underneath it, and it gets crushed, and quite often they mix it with mercury uh, to enhance the, uh, the gold recovery. So um, they found a couple of these things uh, around the, the uh, uh, the mine opening, and obviously that's evidence of mining. Um, so there might be a similar sort of thing at La Groña Civil de Oro. Uh, and then there was also um, a uh, evidence of ditches, ditching that had been done and ground sluicing uh, over the top of a hill. And uh, what they would have done, uh, they didn't have any sluice boxes or things like that, they would place rocks on the side of the hill and they'd run the current down uh, and, and wash the gold and the, the gold would be in the lee of the boulders. La Groño is, um, uh, they called them cities, though they aren't, they were never cities, they were only just settlements uh, comprising maybe 40, 50 Spaniards <coughs> and as much as uh, 2,000 uh, indigenous laborers. Uh, these people really didn't spend any time uh, building grandiose buildings. Now some of the mines were underground mines, uh, though uh, we suspect that most of them were surface mines. They were mining placer gold, alluvial gold. Uh, however, the records do not differentiate between the two. Um, the only thing that they say sometimes is that a mine is considered poor if it's an underground mine, but it doesn't mean that it's uh, it's not rich. It means that it's more labor to get it out, and certainly they could only work down to the water table because they didn't have any pumps.